Hi everyone, me again. Uh, this will be the final installment of my haul. My problem is I wait too long between videos and then have an accumulation. So um, here I go. I have uh, things from MAC, NARS, Arabon, and Shiseido. So I'm going to get started. From Arabon, I got this Sweet Sugar Body Balm. Just as a side, this is still on my hand from the video I did of the MAC Tartan collection of the purple uh, eyeliner. I cannot get this off. <laughs> so that's a good testimony for the um, long-lasting wear. Anyhow, this is, like I said, from Arbonne. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, sweet Sugar Body Balm. Balm comes in this very pretty metal case and it comes with a puff applicator and it just says use literally all over your liberally all over your body and there's the nice puff and the body bomb and it smells like sugar like cream cream sugar I'll just put a little on the puff so you can see the color that's it and um, it kind of gives you like a um, coppery glow and obviously I put quite a good amount there but uh, it would be nice on your legs if you didn't have to wear pantyhose or tights I mainly got this because um, it was a clearance item for only five dollars and Arbonne um, has decent products it's not a line that I really use much but um, I know it is good quality and I believe it is um, uh, they don't use animal testing and that type of thing. Anyway, that's that. And then I got uh, another kind of miscellaneous thing from that store called Airy, A-E-R-I-E. It's kind of the lingerie and sweatpants section of American Eagle. And I got, did I get one or two of these? These were kind of in a clearance area, and it's called Color, and it is... Um, pink pearls and it's a long lasting matte lipstick and I have it on now and there you see the color I love this I think I only paid like $2.99 for this or something but it goes on very creamy smells really good and um, you know doesn't last for hours and hours but you know very similar to uh, other long-lasting lipsticks that really don't last as long as they say. Really like this. I think I'm going to pop this in my pocketbook, actually. Okay, and of course, what's a trick without MAC? And I did get a few miscellaneous items from them as well. I got the strobe cream, uh, which is kind of a highlighting cream. I think I'm going to try putting it in my foundation. I did just put it over my foundation a little bit once and then I put it under and um, it doesn't do a ton but I think it might be pretty versatile and I'll keep playing around with it so that's that's that it might be you know nice little dabbing on the cheekbones type thing okay so again that's the MAC strobe cream got two pigments um, this one is similar to the purple I got in the Tartan collection, but this has many more blue undertones. And this one is um, Full Force. I don't know if you can see that. And um, here's the color. Very vibrant. And I'll do a little swatch for you very very vibrant a little little goes a long way and that's that color kind of put it on top of that um, luminizer so it kind of um, clotted up there but um, very pretty and uh, the other one I got is hmm, I'm gonna let you read that can you read that come on focus focus Anyway, it's a brown color. Why can't I read that one? 
I'm sorry. I should have. Oh, wait a minute. I have my glasses. It is Bloodline. And there it is. It's a very, um, it's a real chocolate brown. Oh, geez, the wrong finger. Let me put it on this finger. It's kind of a chocolatey brown. And I'll put it up here. Chocolatey charcoal brown, if they're if you can get my drift there. It's darker than it looks like on my hand right now. So that's that. And I love putting the pigments on over the um, gel liners, whether they're MAC liners or other liners. Um, it just really sets them nicely. And, um, and this also is a bugger to get off. And um, okay, and two other things. I got two um, shadows they've had forever, but um, I like the colors, and I've already ran through one. One is Patina, which is this. Love that. It's just a neutral, neutral color. Good all over the lid. Patina, and the other one is Satin Taupe, and this is very similar except. Um, a little more glimmery. Let me put it next to that. And a little more color to it. A little a little more muddy brown to it. And that's the other one. So I got those because they're very versatile. Like you can wear those on a daily basis. So then I went to NARS. And NARS now has these matte um, pure matte lipsticks. And I got two of them. Uh, the problem with matte, as you all know, is you get something on the case and it never comes off. It's like fingerprints stay here. So anyway, I got two of these. Um, mm, these are really hard to read. This one, mm, I can't even read it, it's so small. I don't know if you can. But anyway, that's the first one I got, and it is, a, I call it kind of like a dusty rose color. And they go on very matte, like you'd expect, and they do last pretty well, but they are drying, like most long-lasting matte lipsticks. Let's see if I can find a good place to put this. How about right here? There we go. So that's the matte pink one. The other one I got is more of a nude neutral look. But I love this one. And again, I, I can't read it. It's just so small down there. It's ridiculous. I should have saved the boxes. And that looks like this. It's almost a skin color. A little more peachy like a MAC, than a, like a MAC Myth or something like that. But um, looks beautiful on. And there's that color right here. Isn't that pretty? Love it. So I've been wearing that practically on a daily basis. And um, so far, so good with their new Pure Matte Lipsticks. I think they were maybe 22, 23. Got um, two of their new blushes as well. This is what I went to Sephora for for the NARS, was this blush in particular. And it's... Um, it's under, for some reason, they, they're putting it under the umbrella of the Orgasm Blush. But this is more of a peachy color, but they're expecting it to be, you know, a really popular color. So again, this one is called Sex Appeal. And again, it's very light. You do have to be a little heavy-handed when you put it on, but it's a gorgeous color. I am just loving this color, and I've been wearing this practically on a daily basis as well. Let me get a little swatch in my finger for you. And that's it. And you're going to barely be able to see it, but it's right there. That's why I said you have to kind of layer it on there, but it just gives just enough, you know, glow to your skin. It looks, it looks really nice. Um, okay, so that's that. And my hair is, oh, I don't know. It's just so dry. I don't know if you guys are running into that lately. It's just, it's like hay lately, no matter what I do. 
Anyway, I digress. Um, the other blush I got is um, Oasis. And this is a darker one. And it has a lot of glitter. And it's like a dusty rose color, which I do like. And I've been wearing this quite a bit too, especially at night. Uh, let me see if I can get a good swatch on this finger. Yeah, and that's this one. Really beautiful color. I, you know, it's really hit or miss for me with NARS, but um, with these things, I just got those uh, matte lipsticks and these blushes. I've been thrilled to death. I just love them. That's the blush. And one last oh, duo I got is kind of a highlighter duo, and it's in Hungry Heart. And um, there are two highlighters in here. And I wish I could tell you what they are, but I'm not sure. But they are both um, very glittery. One's more peachy, one's more gold. And there they are. Love that. Been using that a lot. And finally, I'm just hoping I, this video will download them over my 10 minutes from Shiseido. I got a lipstick and a lip gloss. The lipstick I got is, uh, like again, a real nude color. And it is BR323. And it looks dark here, but it's really not. And I'm going to put that right there. There it is. And it does. It goes on very nude on your lips. Um, very soft brick nude is the best way I can describe it. And the gloss I got to go over it is the BE201. And this will lighten this lipstick up a bit. And it is on a brush, which I like. And I will. I'll put that right over the lipstick. And that's what it looks like. Gorgeous, great quality. So hopefully this is all going to download and I won't have to do it all over again. And hope you've enjoyed my videos and would love to have you subscribe and comment. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.